with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Well, it was a beautiful start to the day today. Take a look once again, mostly sunny skies, really uh, hardly any chance of precipitation as we, although we do have the slight possibility of an isolated storm off towards our west, but just fair weather cumulus clouds. That's pretty much all she wrote after a beautiful yesterday, and we're continuing that trend for today. 75 degrees winds out of the northeast at 15 miles per hour. High pressure is moving over to our east, and that's continuing that onshore wind flow from Lake Michigan. Hence, wide temperatures are in the 60s right now from 62 in Kiwani to 69 both in Sturgeon and uh, Sister Bay. But farther inland, we're in the 80s still in Wapaka 83 and Watoma 81, 76 in both Mountain and Anago and uh, 70 degrees in Akanto. Winds, here they are, we're coming in out of the east and northeast, a little more breezy than yesterday, but still a nice and gentle breeze. It's always nice to have have a light wind as you're heading outside. Dew points right along that mortar line from getting humid to being that dry air. 60 degrees and above is really when we start to feel those humidity values and those will start to increase over the coming days and especially by the end of the work week. Here's what satellite and radar is showing right now. Nothing really impacting us, but just to our neighboring west, there's a few isolated pop up showers that have been developing. And then even farther away from there, you see more organized showers and thunderstorms. That's because of this organized system, I would say semi organized. It's not that intense, but it will be moving eastward. This high pressure right now is keeping us dry, but that's going to shift off to the east. And by Tuesday, we will see a round of some showers and perhaps some thunderstorms as this storm system makes its way into northeast Wisconsin. But as for the rest of the evening hours, expect a few isolated showers, most of which should be off towards our west, but we can't rule out the chance that maybe one might scrape towards Anago, Shano, and down towards uh, Wapaka or Rotoma. But as you get to the the evening hours once that sun sets we'll say goodbye to any chance of precipitation and we're expecting a mix of some clouds to mostly clear skies overnight tonight as temperatures cool down into the mid 50s then for tomorrow temperatures very similar to like what we saw today highs in the mid to upper 70s perhaps even a few lower 80s along the lakes are a little cooler but here comes Tuesday the clouds move on in from the southwest and also we have a few showers that come in into the area as well and then also, let's pay attention to next week, late next week. Watch this warm air dome moving off towards the east. That's our next shot of some 80s and 90s into the forecast. It is going to get very hot and humid as we get towards Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. 55 degrees overnight tonight, northeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for tomorrow, warming up into the mid 70s under mostly sunny skies. Pretty comfortable out there. Also, here we go as we go towards Tuesday and Wednesday. Chance of some showers and thunderstorms. Dry on Thursday, but then comes a heat wave Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Temperatures back into the lower 90s. A very, very warm end to the work week. Sounds like it's going to be a really hot Saturday and Sunday ahead. <laughs> Probably a good day to drink some lemonade. Definitely. But it was really nice this weekend. Just perfect. Oh, for sure. All right. Thanks, Gino. Still ahead on NBC 26. After